Is, is this person using a voice changer? Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. You can call me Sakura Sakura Chen or Miss One. I do not speak Japanese. Well, I, why? Why are you an anime character then? Receiving feels good. Hmm. Here's a portion of my gaming entourage. Like, oh, okay. That's not what the word entourage means. That's just a bunch of stuff in your closet. Check out this computer, son. Lens flares. Some chill dudes. Am I any of these? No, I'm not. Well, in that case, I'm not ashamed. Here are people that I am not. I thought the guy's name was Neosporin. I should become a better anime girl. I could try. Why are they blasting... What, all, what sort of sounds like Metallica, but not... Like, I can't hear the voice. Also, why did somebody just turn a PlayStation on in the background? I don't actually want to know. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back to the history. I gotta check something. Words can't do... Oh, okay. I thought it was going to have more information. Now VR is going to... Oops, i turn that down. VR is going to usher in a whole new generation of escapism. Good job, whatever the companies that are making it are. HTC, Sony, Oculus, Facebook. Look what you did. Now every Twitch stream is going to be anime ladies. Except if they have the VR helmet on. It's like they actually are anime ladies. Only for the super rich elite. Like me! Dude, you know how rich I am? Today, I ate a bagel, and then I had two tablespoons of peanut butter for dinner. The bagel was for lunch. The peanut butter was dinner. <laughs> There, I'm the elite. That's how I can prove it. I spend all my money on other things. Other non-food products. I call that... Responsible Investment Management. I need purples as well. As well, purples. Purples! 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 Blue! 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 Blue, blue, no! Oh, what? Ugh. How am I still alive? Well, I do like peanut butter. What was on the bagel? Cream cheese. As it should be. Which is the only thing worth putting on bagel. Damn it! Putting on bagels. And it wasn't everything bagel with cream cheese, because of course. The only bad thing about everything bagels is that the uh, onion is sort of sticky and gets on your hands sometimes, which is not ideal. Yeah, that'll work. Cream cheese is expensive. Dude, tell me about it. The place on, or the place located in our graduate building where I go and get bagel slash coffee fairly regularly increased their prices and it's kind of absurd now. Like, this costs more than Starbucks 
Why am I going here? Man, this could have been a way better combo if this worked. So... I am probably just going to... I don't know. I'm gonna have to bring my own coffee, I guess. I got one of those, uh... The fancy mugs from Amazon. The, uh... Japan ones. Sojirushi. It has the little elephant. They also made my rice cooker. Apparently they're pretty alright. I haven't actually used it though. It's just been sitting in my... whoops! In my... cabinet? I don't actually know where I put it. It's in my kitchen somewhere. You ask the Dunkin' Donuts person if cream cheese is free. Well, they should laugh at you. That's an absurd question. How is Dunkin' Donuts gonna make a profit? Why don't you think of the poor donuts? Poor Mr. Duncan sitting in his... giant... mansion shaped like a massive cup of coffee. Now they're going to starve. All because they made their one person give you free cream cheese. Cream cheese is great, dude! I don't know if I'd say it's hella nutritious, but it really tastes pretty good. It's better for you than butter. At least there's protein. So many Dunkin' Donuts are staffed by immigrants. Well, I mean, I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts for the service. I Actually, I don't even go to Dunkin' Donuts at all. Because it's kind of not very good. When I was a kid, I used to really like the uh, culottas, which are pretty much just like diabetes in a little frozen cup. But they were good. Except you'd have the problem where you'd drink all the coffee and all you would have left is just vaguely coffee-flavored ice at the bottom of the cup, and you've already drank all the flavoring out of it. So it's like, eh, I guess I'll just sort of eat what's pretty much just ice at this point. That was always the worst bit. But like, Dunkin' Donuts as a source for coffee is not very good. Except when they had, like, the 99-cent lattes on Tuesdays, and those were okay. Man, culottas. Those were so good. I haven't had one in ages. I should go out and buy one right now. Right this very moment, risking life and limb on the rough-and-tumble streets of Baltimore. We don't even have a Dunkin' Donuts around here, so I don't know where I would go. But I would find a place, that's how dedicated I am to the Dunkin' cause. Oh no. Oh, I had a good setup there, and now I don't. Last and dam. Oh no, that was supposed to flip over the other. Uh, I lost. More YouTube bait, dude. I love YouTube bait. There's poop in my soup. Ah. Uh. Your dad liked my tweet. Dude, I thought more people would like my tweet. I thought it was funny, but I guess no one... No one cares. I thought this was... Very funny. And you know what? Nobody else did. Nobody else... Thought that was funny. Except for these 15 people. Get it? Because it's... The Supreme Court of the United States nomination? 
but it's, it's like how people on the internet say nom 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 and I was I was intentionally being obtuse with the meaning which is <sighs> forget it it's almost as good as a Skechers joke uh, not quite also, when I heard this guy's name was Merrick Garland, I thought he was a Yu-Gi-Oh character. I wonder if anybody else made that connection. Yeah, see, I, I thought, yeah, the, the British guy. Alright, nobody else thought this except for these three people. And this person. That is a guy, right? Or is that Malik? Merrick Ishtar. See, it's the same thing. See? This is your next Supreme Court Justice. Where, do, <laughs> where is his allegiance truly? Is it to America? I don't think so. What is this? That looks oddly sensual, in a way that I didn't expect. In a way that leaves me wanting more. I liked Bakura. He was alright. He was kind of dowdy and had big hair, and you know what? I relate. Also, I don't know where to find his... Uh, the big page about him. Because wikis are stupid. Yeah, he's gonna send people to the Shadow Realm. I'm going to send this law to the Shadow Realm! Except that's, that's not what Merrick sounds like. I don't even know what he sounds like. I've only seen him in the Abridged series because I don't really care about Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh good, I'm the same age as Boob Lady. Fantastic. And I'm the same blood type! 53 kil- oh no, 52 kilograms. Let me see. Whoops. No, no, she's she's too light. I'm all about the hair. Amen. Does she do anything after anything? No. I am O positive. Yeah. Bakura, he was cool. I like profiteroles. Sort of. I, I like bread. The evil half only uses honorifics for himself. That's pretty good. I should do that. I'll speak when the royal we. Why am I looking at Yu-Gi-Oh stuff? Why aren't you? Bakura. <laughs> Bakura shortly after he is stabbed. I'm sorry, what? Did I, did I miss something? I didn't... I don't remember seeing that. There is the episode where Joey wore the dog costume. Uh... That's all I remember. But is the Millennium Ring the Dreamcatcher one? Oh uh, yeah, it is. I don't remember what it did. I, it might have taken people to the Shadow Realm, or maybe it was just like there for aesthetics. It was stolen by the Millennium Ring Thief. Oh yeah, that... If you're gonna name your kid Millennium Ring Thief, don't be surprised when he gets up to no good. Also, this man is all fist. Dude... This show went so many places, I don't even know who any of these people are. I, yeah, I never really watched this. Okay, the plot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi is a kid who has a older kid inside of him in the big triangle he wears around his neck, which I think is called the Millennium Puzzle. I don't know why it's a puzzle, 
because it doesn't look like one, and if it really were a puzzle, he should try to solve the end pieces first. But moving on, he got the Millennium Puzzle from... I, I don't know. I just assume he was born with it. Uh, but whatever. Uh, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is the hippest new sensation that's taking fictional Japanese high schoolers slash middle school? By storm. And, uh... Everyone's playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in class and not paying attention. Because kids suck. And then Yugi's like, Oh, my grandpa runs the show... The, the, the shop where you can buy Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Let's all check out some Yu-Gi-Oh! cards at the shop that my grandpa owns. So then him and his friends, which are only using him for the cards, are all like, yeah, let's go see your grandpa. And they see his grandpa, and he's got uh, cards. And they're, they're good cards. He has the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is a very good card. Uh, so they have a classmate called Kaiba, who wants that good card. And he, uh... I forgot to put purples on that, so he... Kaiba is like Junior Donald Trump, so he sicks his goons on Yugi's grandpa. And takes the card and then rips it up. And then Yugi turns into an older Egyptian guy, which I think was sitting inside the giant triangle that he wears, and they have a fight to get the honor of the card back or something. Uh, the card was ripped up, so they weren't getting it back, but whatever. So they do that, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi is all, I have all these pieces, but I don't know what to do with them. And then he says, my grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, I think, and he plays all the bits of Exodia, which is the, if you have all the parts of this, you win card, because that's balanced. And he wins the game, and Kaiba doubles back like he's actually injured, because hologram technology is really good in Japan. Uh, and then Yugi goes home, and he gets a tape cassette, because we have, we have really fancy holograms and whatnot, but we're still using VCRs, so whatever. And Yugi opens up the tape cassette, and there's a, a glove in it with a star, I think, and Yugi's thinking about it, like, well, this is either uh, like a starter kit for a Michael Jackson cosplay or something totally mysterious. So he opens up, the, he puts the cassette in the television, and then the cassette sucks out his grandpa's soul and puts him in the TV. But not like the Persona kind of in the TV. That's a different TV world. They don't solve murder mysteries and there is no Teddy. But regardless, that happens. So then Yugi has to go to Duel Island because I think Pegasus was the bad guy who took Yugi's grandpa's soul and put it in the TV. I don't know why he did that. I think it's because Pegasus wanted him to go to the island uh, so he could rob him. Oh no, no, he wanted his Millennium Puzzle because if he got all the Millennium parts, he could make his dead wife come back, I think. Uh, and then Yugi goes to the duel island and duels and gets a lot of star points and puts them on his stupid oversized glove. He never once does a Michael Jackson impression, by the way. Uh, so then... Oh wait, uh, when they're on the way to the island that Pegasus has, I think Joey rips up his cards. No, the, the stupid kid with the dumb glasses rips up his cards, rips up his cards and throws them off the boat. 
so we can't have Exodia anymore because that would make it too cheap. So then he gets on Duel Island and they duel a lot, where apparently if they're playing on the front lawn of the island, they, um, they get like a buff on their cards somehow, uh, which doesn't happen in real life, I don't think. Uh, and he gets enough star points. There's my Valentine, who loses. Uh, there's Bakora, who I don't know how he got there, but he did. Uh, there's Bandit Keith. Uh, and I think he has cronies, who are like zombies or something. Uh, and then Yugi goes eventually once he gets all the parts and duels with Pegasus who sends his friends to the Shadow Realm with his Millennium Eye except Bakora, I think, because he has a Millennium Ring which counteracts it uh, and I think he gives Pegasus like a noogie in the Millennium the, 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 the Shadow Realm also, I think there's something about Toon Monsters, which are, like, super cheap, but, you know, that's that's entirely how the game works. Everything's super cheap. Um, and then Yugi... Yugi dies in the Shadow Realm unless he switches to Old Man Yu-Gi-Oh, because Pegasus... I don't know why I even remember this much, because Pegasus can read his mind with the Millennium Eye, and he knows what cards he has. So, Yugi gets around that by switching to the other Yugi, who's in his giant necklace, because they have separate brains and Pegasus can't know what they're doing, I think. Uh, and then Yugi beats Pegasus. Uh, also, at one point, they drew a big smiley face on their hands. I don't remember why, but I think that's relevant to the plot and Yu-Gi-Oh has like a terrible allergy to magic marker and he dies or something. Uh, so then uh, he beats Pegasus and I think evil Bakora goes and pulls out Pegasus's eye. Uh, and that's no good. And then I don't remember watching anymore that... No, wait, no. They... Eventually, I don't know when this happens, uh, there are, like, these two fat Chinese guys in a maze, and they make Yugi play Dungeon Dice Monsters, which is like Yu-Gi-Oh! But it isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! But it uses cards from Yu-Gi-Oh! Or dice or something? They have one one brother, one fat Chinese brother is called Para and the other one is called Dox and they have to they have to roll some dice and get to the end. Um, Yugi has the red eyes black dragon, which is crappier than the blue eyes white dragon, which is why Kaiba doesn't steal it from him. Unless he does, in which case I stand corrected. Uh no, I'm not mixing up the plots. This is how it goes. This is how I remember it going. Um, uh, I, mm, yeah, that... That's kind of it. I think more probably happened, but I don't know. There was a kid in my elementary school who played the Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy Advance game and he didn't have any friends. That kid was not me. He probably didn't have friends because he played Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, yeah, Gate Guardian, that was a thing. Um, I don't know what Battle City is. And then there's like Egyptian people just here and there's something called Slifer, I think. Or maybe I'm getting it confused with S uh, Cypher from Metal Gear Solid 
two, which is a very real possibility. And by two, I mean three. And by three, I mean all of them. Um, and there are really powerful cards that can destroy the world, I guess. But they're just printed on paper, so I don't know. Except, no wait, these were the real cards, because back in Egyptian times, uh, they stored grain and Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the pyramids, and they fought with real monsters. Um, and Ben Carson was an Egyptian. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think Yugi is dueling with Kaiba at one point, and Kaiba is like, if you hit me with the finishing touch, uh, not the one from Final Fantasy, if you beat me the shockwave from this hologram will knock me off this railing and I will die. And Yugi is a pansy, and he does not beat Kaiba for whatever reason. Also, he uses, like, Multiply and Little Karibo multiple times, which I don't think is actually how the game works. Also, they say Reborn the Monster a lot, I think. Um, but the moral is Kaiba sucks and Yugi is good all the time, even in the face of impossible adversity. Also, there's a man living inside him, who is called Yami. I think I don't know where he got the puzzle. No, wait, he bought the puzzle from like a. A, a man in Egypt who was selling it next to some fruit or something. He was a mysterious man, probably. Um, that's that's it. I don't I don't remember anything else. I don't know why the the man who lives inside Yugi looks so much like Yugi. That's I don't know if that's just because if you inhabit a dude's body, you look like the dude. I'm not up on my genetics for that. Um, but, yeah. Then, uh... Card games. Well, that was... That's it. That's... That's all I remember. No, I didn't watch Pokemon up to the... GS ball. I don't even remember where I watched Pokemon up to. I think Ash... Lost to the kid with the stupid-looking Pikachu with hair in, like, the final battle of the Not Elite Fours. There was the Orange League, I think, which I didn't accept because it wasn't in the games. Time Wizard! Yeah, there, there is a baby dragon, I think. And Joey said it a lot. I think once they played Baby Dragon, it turned into, like, Century Dragon. Like those century eggs that they eat in China. But not at all. That's a thing, right? I'm not I'm not making that one up. I really messed that combo up, by the way. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. There's a man living inside of me, too, but I have to unlock him with the time artifact. The Millennium Rolex. The Millennium G-Shock Watch. Hmm. I... I don't remember... I don't even remember what Joey sounds like because I'm just used to all the Joey parodies. Which, maybe that's exactly how he sounds. I don't know. I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I watched it when I would come home from middle school, because it would be on. But, like... That's kinda it. Like, Yugi wins, hip hip hooray, and some dude pulls Kaiba's eye out. I guess they get Grandpa back, but maybe he died 
in the Shadow Realm because nobody brought him his prescriptions. Grandpa, no! Pegasus didn't send your insulin to the Shadow Realm. Oh well. And that's Yu-Gi-Oh! I think. Why were we talking about- oh, that's right, the Supreme Court guy who sounds like the bad guy in Yu-Gi-Oh! That's- yeah. I hope you all learn something. Don't watch television, that's the moral. TV is bad. It's gonna rot your brains, especially Yu-Gi-Oh. It's gonna fill you with fanatical delusions. This combo doesn't even go anywhere anymore goes back to his day job. Okay, if they needed stupid rare cards so much, straight up, why didn't they just go to the shop and buy them? Why didn't- why do they have to kidnap his stupid grandpa for that? Like, punch him in the gut? Why not just go to the game store? Why not just forge the cards? Like, who cares? You just put them on a hologram machine. Excuse me, none of this is real. Also, why do they have to have the hologram thing on their arm? What if they have to use the bathroom? What is a dual disc? No, the dual disc is the arm thing. Wasn't there like a thing where Yugi's in the Shadow Realm and there are like evil energy discs that are going to cut his like legs off or something if he doesn't win in time? Or did I make that up? I think that was a thing. But yes, it's, it's incredibly stupid. It's a cartoon. Well, you know what? It is, however, you know, I, I can't suspend my disbelief forever. You have to make some of this game about evil hologram card monsters somewhat believable. How am I supposed to insert myself in the role of the protagonist if I can't believe the world? That is shoddy writing. No, it's actually not that much. Thirteen dollars for oil. I could go for some instant ramen, because dinner today was two scoops of peanut butter. Yeah, man, why didn't they steal Grandpa in a higher resolution? Like, couldn't they have kept his soul in, like, DVD, at least? Like, man, if I were trapped in VHS, that's the worst. That is... living hell. At least get me in, like, a laser disc. I've not tried a scoop of peanut butter and instant ramen. I don't keep instant ramen around. I like to pretend at least that the food I have around me is normal people food, and not just starving student food. I mean, I've got vegetables, I have rice, I have a tofu. Those are things people could eat. Those are ingredients. I guess they could have trapped Grandpa's soul in like, Betamax. That'd be pretty bad. Uh-oh. You would do that, wouldn't you? Please work, please work, please work. No! Wait! 
Now we're still good. Eat it. I'm supposed to eat ramen and amphetamines. Energy drinks are gross and ramen... Honestly, with ramen... I've probably eaten the ramen just dry more than I've eaten it cooked as ramen. Have you ever seen the vinyl records that have movies? Yeah, CED players. They're not... Well, I guess they are technically records, but they're not like... Records... Per se. I thought CED technology was way older, and then I recently found out, oh wait, this came out after Laserdisc, and it was total trash. CED players as a concept is sort of really interesting because it's just like a very retro-futuristic way of distributing video. Like, what if we never evolved past the record? Every single thing we ever did as a society had to be on record somehow. No? Well, I guess we had magnetic tape then, but, you know, like, no solid-state storage, no anything. It had to be a record. And all of our videos came on records. It's like the 60s version of the future and everything's just a disc. Also in space. And incredibly white. It's not smart, though, the concept of a CED player, because... It's like... Yeah, you can make... You know, you can put... Uh, movie content on vinyl, but like you are just intentionally crippling the development of this product, you know? It's, it's just super limited just by the very nature of what it is. You know, it's like running a marathon with a cinder block attached on your belt. Like, you could do it, but, like, you're never gonna be as good as if you weren't running with the cinder block. That was just limited for how well it would go. What is this? Oh, is this the VR thing? Oh, yeah. They stopped producing Betamax. Hey, man, Betamax was technologically superior to VHS. What's the fuss about vinyls? Vinyls are cool because they have big album inserts. There's a lot of art in a vinyl, and that's nifty. In terms of sound, well, that's... They don't sound better, they just sound different. If you like some analog warmth, warmth, pop, crackle, whatever, fine, go, listen to vinyl, I don't care, but it's not better than, you know, your digital material. You know, like, vinyl is a big thing. It's got stuff. You know, you have a big player, you have an amplifier, you have the turntable. It's half like showpiece and half thing you are legitimately going to use for stuff. So I could see why people would want it. Because, you know, legitimately, it's cool, it's neat, there's stuff there. It's interesting. Dare I say, it's even sort of hip, but, I mean, 
you're also just sort of intentionally inconveniencing yourself just for the novelty, so that's going to wear off. Give me a red. Go. Thank you. We should have a dedicated Sims Online server. It's probably a thing that nobody wants, but we should have one. If you thought people hitting on each other in the chat wasn't prevalent enough then, oh, just you wait. Just you wait. Coaster Tycoon 2 is stable enough. Not like The Sims Online is particularly stable or fun. Oh, what I was trying to ask you before Ricky on, except I realized the chat was broken and it didn't work by then. Um, I was gonna ask, are there like player permissions in The Sims Online server client? Can you make it so certain people can build and other people can't? Or is it all just free-for-all, whatever? I mean, it's really neat that they got it up and running, don't get me wrong. That is a cool thing, but in retrospect, I totally get why they canned it, because... There's really nothing to it. It's just a chat room with The Sims. Oh, hell. Coaster Planet game? Yeah, probably. Comes out in eight days, so... I guess. I'll buy it to maximize my brand exposure, as I am a branding expert. games. Alright. See, I never played The Sims Online when it came out, because I was too young. Also, my parents wouldn't have paid a monthly fee. I mean, it had a really big open... well, not open, but a big map screen that made me think, oh, well, you know, it'd be kind of cool if this were fully populated, and you can just go to different places and have different houses and invite people over. But the problem with The Sims, just I think that limits it a lot, is the fact that you tell your guy in The Sims to do stuff, but you don't actually do it. I mean, you want to take a shower, you go to The Sim, you say, take shower at the end. Um, there's no interaction there. So... I don't know what you would do if you went over to some guy's house except walk around, look at it, say hello, and that's it. You know? Because The Sims as a game is just sort of based on living a life, and if you're not living a life, because you can't die, then it's kind of just nothing. made mock museums. All right, I mean, I could, I could see how it would be interesting. I guess I'm just wondering 
how well it would hold people's attention in the long term. That being said, I don't know if we will ever do Sims Online on stream again, but you never know. I have played worse games multiple times. I lost. Screw this game. Oh, I don't have any file history because I deleted it. No, the concept wasn't bad when it came out, for sure. Um, just in retrospect, I guess, and how game design has changed and talking to people is super easy now. So the novelty of, like, you can communicate isn't really as big of a selling point. free for everyone else for like a seven week trial or are those keys limited? Do you die here or is there a thing underneath? No, it's a kill floor. Like if it were a thing that had free trials for everyone, then we could stream that and have like a free MMO Friday, except it's not a free MMO I don't think. Honestly, I'd probably just mess with the face creator, that's about it. Oh, people who bought it got a seven-day free trial. okay. I thought it's like, uh, World of Warcraft, everyone's first hit is free. Uh, Sonic can dash forward without the fire power-up if you play this ROM hack that put the homing attack in. But normally, no. Black Dessert. It's an MMO about blood pudding. I might even going the right way. What am I thinking going left in a Sonic game? Oops. Well, I'm not gonna actually play Black Desert for real. I don't have the time or the interest to play MMOs for serious, ouch. Ow. <laughs> oh, that's the thing you can go under. <laughs> You know, I still haven't played Spore after all these years, have I? No. The thing is that with MMOs, I guess I can't shake... And I, I hate to say this because I don't want to, like, insult anybody um, who plays MMOs seriously, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm just sort of wasting time. I'm working toward goals that don't really matter, and that time should probably be spent getting a leg up on grad stuff. I mean, you could say that about a lot of things, uh, like what I'm doing right now, but I guess MMOs require a bigger time commitment than I'm willing to put in. And the fun bit for me is just talking to people and maybe wandering around, but it's mostly just like the community aspect. And as a game, I don't really care that much. I mean, it's an MMO, it's gonna play like garbage because they have to account for latency. 
but... You know, there are plenty of other outlets on the internet just to talk to dudes. So... Ouch. But I should be working on my personal brand instead of playing MMOs. Think of all the branding deals I should be cutting instead of beating up a bunch of level 1 trolls to get a quest done or something. Beat up a bunch of bats and spiders. Collect seven spider pieces. Bring to a dude outside of a house he gives you a spider necklace. I don't know. I mean, I liked Fly for Fun when I was a kid, but... That was because it was partially a social outlet and partially because when you're in middle school, you have infinite time! Every time I say brand, you're not going to know when I'm being serious or not. I've got the strongest personal brand. You have no idea. This boss is so incredibly lazy. Oh no, Fly for Fun was bad. Don't get me wrong, but it was also free. I have to kill Tails. Kill Tails. Eh. My brand is not streaming. I think there's actually a way to go through this level without, um... Triggering the thing that releases all the ghosts. You know, I bet you can even do that because you have the homing attack. Just sort of warp out before it happens. Oh, that's where it is. I don't think there's any way around that, actually. Ah, oh, no, you go straight down. Damn. MapleStory. I never played MapleStory. It looks kind of crummy. I'm amazed it's still going. Like, MapleStory to me is like the part of my life where I just played the Halo demo because it was free and it had online. I wonder if it still has online. Wonder. Like, I will still play Capture the Flag on Blood Gulch forever if you let me. And that Halo demo was the best level in the game. Man, the original Halo was really good, and then I didn't play the others. Halo Trial Online is gone ever since GameSpy shut down. I wasn't sure because I played real Halo after GameSpy shut down and the servers were still working. I don't know how they do it without GameSpy, but I know there is some aspect of Halo that still works. The community made alternate servers. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder how it got the game to uh, recognize it. Did I ever play GTA 5 online? I did not. Never. Not on the PC, not on the PS3. I guess I never really knew what to do with it. 
I mean, I used to watch some of the uh, Achievement Hunter people play it. Um, and it was like, yeah, I guess if you have a focus and a bunch of dudes you're broskies with to play it, then sure? But I don't know what I would do with GTA V Online. Like, I just like to zone out and listen to music and drive. You know, GTA for me, I guess, is less about exclusively the gameplay, which is what the online part would focus on, because there's not really a whole lot of story, I'd imagine. Uh, and more just, like, the entire package. Story, characters, all that. And I think when you strip that away, it's not as interesting for me. You know, then it's just drive car, shoot people. The game. And without any context, it just seems kind of uninteresting. I mean, it's not like the gunplay is particularly exciting. I mean, it's, it's functional, but... And then they totally turned down the physics from GTA 4. Disappointing. Tails, pull that. Oh, you didn't. Sonic, no! Oh. Devs released. Yeah, I figured they had to. Because I would imagine there's no way for Halo to uh, update itself with the community and get servers to pull from. I wonder... Man, now I want to play Halo. God damn it. I want to play that... xylophone phobia level. Or like, boarding action, or the one that had like the snipers on either side and the bit in the middle and it was in space and it had the flamethrower. I love the small community of this game. I should stream it and ruin it. Oh, it's Russian. What is this? What is this? What is Halo Online? I don't even know what this game looks like. Frequently asked questions. What is this? What is... There we go. Oh, a modified version of the Halo 3 ending. Boo. I just want the demo. Yeah! No. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I don't really want the CNET one. Oh, okay, it's from 2003. They probably don't have the downloader on it. I never played Halo 3. I don't want Halo. I just want the demo. Halo trial setup. Yeah, that's the stuff. Into my veins. Man, all the videos that I'm getting recommended now are just Jesus chat line. Halo trial setup, yes. I hope this runs in a window, but it probably doesn't. Oh man, look how chunky this menu is. Yeah, I don't care, it's not that big. No, no, no. Yes. Look how chunky this menu is, dude. It's like everything on the original Xbox was just big. For no reason. Every UI thing. This game ran like trash on my old computer. Web connection. I don't have one of those. How do I... Windowed. Yeah. Any way to play this in windowed mode? Uh, 
Did anybody answer the question? Add minus window. Everyone says to do that, and in like one out of ten files it actually works. Oh man. Oh, it's all weird. I just want to run the game with Mr. Chef. Master Chief. Master Chef. What is this? Microsoft Games. Halo! Halo. Desktop. Uh, 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 desktop. That's the one. There we go. Minus window. Boom. Now it's not gonna work. Right? Right. Yes. Hot damn! Oh god, the sensitivity is too much. Oh man. Oh man! Yeah! Widescreen. I sure it's almost like 666p, dude. They were incredibly prescient in the days of Halo. Frame rate 30. No V-Sync. No, V-Sync. Refresh rate 50? Eww. Man, I would love if they made the demo multiplayer work, but I know that's too much to ask. Right? Right? Allow access. Oh, I figured. Mouse sensitivity. One. That doesn't help. Screw it, I'll just leave it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah! Oh man, this... This demo was so good. believe that what they call the oh the frame rate is oddly bad though under this island the cartographer is a map room that will lead us to halo's control center the refresh rate is 50 the island has multiple structures and installations one of them contains the map room i can never run the game at this kind of resolution back at the time oh that's right full hammer i don't remember how to play uh crouch there's no sprint that's grenade that's okay Weird. I'm pretty sure I had mm, throw a grenade. No, middle. Fire weapons left. Uh, melee is F. Yeah, it makes sense. Reload is R. Switch. Sure. Uh, what's the zoom button? Say to vehicle. I never knew you could do that. Where's the zoom button? Scope zoom, Z. There we go. The whole game is great, but this is the best level. There we go. I'm used to America's Army where you have to switch grenades out of your loadout. Screw this thing. Oh wait, how do you... I thought somebody heard the needle. There we go. I'm used to America's army controls. Um, what? Oh, oh, that's right. Windows detects and names the controller or something. I was going to say, they put Xbox 360 support in the original Halo? No way. Never mind. That's just what Windows calls it. Crouch. Left control. No, left shift. 
Yep. It's not a toggle, though. All my dudes died, right? Because this is on Legendary. Yeah. Yeah, of course they did. There's no leaning because it's Halo. Of course there wouldn't be. Right, the jump is ridiculous. Totally forgot about that. Weren't there more plasma grenades here? Hey, that's what they were called. I remembered. I just want to play more Blood Gulch. I never played Halo 2, and honestly, I don't know why. I mean, aside from the fact that it was Vista only at the time, and I did not have Vista. But, I mean, I, I could play it now. Ouch, dude, stop shooting me. I could play it now, I don't know why I didn't ever do that. Oh, cool, it's got stuff. Those all miss. It's back in the day where people were complaining about, like, my god hacking their game. Baking cakes that say, my god owns me. I don't know if that's still a thing anymore. Probably not. Oh, hello, where'd you come from? Gotta get those great Counter-Strike cheats. This is not going well. Oh crap, I'm running out of gun. Don't look this way, I'm over here. This game is almost as good as Jurassic Park Trespasser. Almost. God, that thing comes in. Oh, God damn it! Screw it. I don't have to fight them. Why didn't Trespasser have multiplayer? Dude, you know how good that would be? Just multiple people with the dumb noodle arms? Fantastic. Like, nobody can control this game. I wish I had ammo. But I don't. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll just try to punch some dude out. Oh wait, it's legendary. Oh. Bad news. Why not get in the Warthog? Wait, was there one? Oh yeah, you're right, there was one. They dropped... Oh, you... Or did they not do that yet? I don't remember. I'm out of everything. Except... Oh wait, that's right, you could punch people in the back. Wait. Now the area's not secure, what are you... Okay. Area is not secure, I repeat. 
area is not secure. What was that? Okay, let's move out. Wait. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Where's my... Uh, I don't know. Can you drop some people? No, I'm over here. Where did you... Where did it even go? Oh, you know, I bet what happened is that the guys that I was fighting and losing to had to despawn. So now it counts them as dead, and now it counts that area as clear, so now it's going to give me the Warthog. Is that how you spell faux hammer? I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry if this sounds racist, but I always thought it was faux hammer, like afro. I didn't think it was faux, like enemy. I... I, I still choose to believe it is like an afro hammer. I think that's the correct interpretation. What? What? That, that's not that dumb. I swear, that is not the dumbest thing I have said. It makes sense in context. I guess Afro doesn't have foe in it, does it? In retrospect, maybe that doesn't make a lot of sense. Hmm. <laughs> now screw it. I don't know, maybe they have futuristic space Afros. I'm I'm not designing, you know, future feng shui. I can't tell. Oh, that's right, you drive it with the mouse. I guess fro hammer would have been way better, but I guess fo and fro sounded close enough that I just assume they're the same. Check out this dynamic lighting, oops. I don't need this. Nope. Well, the textures are still nice, just the geometry is really old. Screw those grenades. Also, the plasma rifle's garbage. Hello? No? No. I always wish they had the flamethrower in single player. But they don't. I don't think, unless it's hidden somewhere. On the Ark, the Covenant, no, what is the, the ship called? The, uh, the, the, Truth and Reconciliation, or is that a different one? Uh, the... Oh God, I forgot. I was gonna say, it's called the Pylon, but no, it's not called that either. The, uh... The thing that Captain Keys drives until bad things happen to him. Captain Keys. What's the name of the ship? I, if I saw it, I would know. The Pillar of Autumn, yes, that's the one. I don't think there was a... Covenant rocket launcher. I think there was just a regular rocket launcher. Oh no, no, the, the fuel rod gun. Surprise! Oops. That could have gone better. 
Oh god, I've... I have overcooked that. <laughs> oh god, that checkpoint loads fast on modern hardware. Excuse me, driving. Jersey driver coming through. Oops. Now we're good. I don't even know why I still have the pistol. Uh, no, it's time to park it. Then they started making the enemies talk and whatnot in Halo 2, and then sort of, sort of zoned out. Halo SSD edition. I guess so. Stop that. Oh, I thought I stuck him. Am I missing something about the plasma rifle, or is this always just the worst gun? It's too slow for the bullets to travel. Oh wait, did I kill that blue guy? It was coming at me! Oh! It's just bad. I thought so. Sorry, I'm losing. I haven't played Halo in a long time. There we go, that's what I mostly wanted to do in the first place. It's just a rain of grenades. Oh yeah, the plasma pistol and uh, assault rifle. If you just take the shield down and then shoot a bunch. Sneak up behind people and punch them and they die. There, got him right in the crotch. Everything in this game is just so chunky. Just how everything looks. The guns are super chunky. The pistol is chunky. The interface is chunky. I'm assuming I didn't kill him with that. Legendary is hard. I've beaten the game on it before. At least once. Not recently. And it was hard then. Hang on. Let me just... Don't ignore the man in the car. That's not the gunner seat. What's my hair care routine? Uh, I shampoo it, and then I condition her, and then that sits in for a little while, and then I wash it out. If it's the weekend, I'll sit around and just let it dry. If not, I just go over it briefly with a uh, uh, thingy, the uh, blow dryer. My goal is to try to make it proof less and be more defined, and that's a difficult thing because I don't want to load it up with crud and make it crusty. 
which I found a lot of like gel products have always done, and I hate that. Excuse me. No. Uh, I did a sick 360. Anyway. <laughs> then I died. Oh man, the multiplayer version of this level was awful. Because it always had all the banshees on it, and you'd just be shooting at one dude, and the banshee swoops in, kills you, the end. Oh, well, that was way more productive. my hair. Uh, right about shoulder length at this point. But it's kind of wavy, so it's hard to tell. Excuse me. Oh, that's right. You can, you can drive the car in here, but not that far. Driving. Xbox for this one didn't have multiplayer, it just had LAN stuff, it wasn't online. They've locked the doors. Oh, don't do that. Interesting. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors. We don't have enough firepower to get through them. That always happens. Cortana to keys. I want that needler. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Understood. We're still in route. Oh, man. Active. If I... I when I have to get out of this... Here are your orders. I didn't I kill anybody. Now I've tried flat irons, they just sort of make it look lifeless. I have to go over it with a flat iron at a low temperature or else it just kind of looks like it's smushed. I mean, I own a flat iron, I can straighten it whenever I want. I just don't. Because I'm not entirely pleased with the results. Oh no. We need to find the security override to get this door open. I missed that. Oops. Have I considered shaving all of my hair off? No! Because then I could never look at myself in the mirror ever again. Oh! Morning. Where'd you come from? Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh. Second squad, ready to roll. Super I deserve that. Topside. LZ looks secure, sir. Nothing moving. Oh. Good luck. He's out. We need to find the security override to get this door open. Can I look at myself in the mirror now? I've gotten pretty good at that, actually. Not as dismayed as I used to be. Well, it sounds like some guys died. Hello. No. Oh. Did you really have to throw a grenade five feet? It's gonna kill me! No, oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Oh, 
Oh! There's a save after this. Wait, where am I going? Community multiplayer stream. I feel like those aren't very fun to watch. Also, I love how Master Chief just sort of breaks when you're going up and down slopes you're not supposed to go through. And you're bumping the car constantly. But I feel like a lot of community multiplayer things are only really fun for the people currently doing them and everyone watching is just sort of left out. Master Chief's a really loud heartbeat. Yeah, I've heard things about various oils you could put in it, but Looks I've never like done that. Into the interior of the island. Looks like there's a path. Are we going to comment on these guys? No? Alright. Oh, how did they not? Well, okay. I don't know how they didn't notice me coming in. Oh, crap, that's on Zoom. Yoink. Oh, that's right! I remember this level now. And then you have to go around, and there are the guys with the fuel rod gun that you have to kill. Except when they died, you can never pick up the gun, which is always sort of annoying. Because it's just, like, built into their arm or something. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, there go my grenades. Oh man, Oreos. I haven't had an Oreo in a while. I haven't had food in a while. To be more accurate. Oh, I got him. I thought there was a thing there. And there are no more health things, just a bunch of dead guys, right? Right. Ugh. Why did you have to go? Oh, come on! That's a lot of dudes. That's what you get. That explosion took out some of them, it didn't. Aw oh, man, I can eat a Big Mac right now. Go away, go away, go away. Honestly, I don't even like steak that much. I don't understand the fascination with steak. It's just meat. Now if it were a tofu steak, well... Who's shooting? No one now. I, I really don't like steak all that much. Maybe I just grew up with particularly bad steak. Ah. Yoink. Ah, maybe not the best way to approach that. Oh, you don't. All these guys had to speak English. Is that their lingua franca? Is it Skullface? Oh! Hello. 
I love how if you do a Google trend or a Google trend search for the words lingua franca, there is a massive increase in Google searches right after Metal Gear Solid 5 came out. No one was talking about that until Kojima brought the lingua franca back into the public eye. Oh no. No. Was there a jump in vocal cord parasites? You know, nobody was searching for vocal cord parasites before Metal Gear Solid 5 came out. That's so weird. Also, you should totally do extra melee damage if you hit somebody in the face with a needler. I mean, it's the needler, for God's sake. Needles. Block. Oh no 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 I'm hoping you explode and take your boss out with you. plans ahead. Very far ahead. That was Kojima googling it all the time in 2004 just to make sure nobody came up with Wabakia yet. Doing preemptive proof of concept googling. That sounds like a guy died. Checkpoint done. Oh yeah, and then there's the big thing up here with the guys on it, and you have to defend it, and Afro Hammer comes down. Except there are these guys with the fuel rod gun arms that I have to beat first. And because this is on Legendary, I'm not going to get that anytime soon. Oh no. Oh wait a minute, actually from what I remember these aren't that hard to beat. You just have to circle them really fast. Yeah. Because they don't have a close range gun, they just nail you. I thought they took way more damage. I thought these things were like tanks. I guess not. Yeah. You alerted your friends, but at what cost? Well, I thought on Legendary they take more damage than like three pistol shots. I just want to play Trespasser again, to be honest. I want an alternate future where Trespasser, Trespasser was finished the way they originally intended. That sounds like a good game. Ow. Ah. It's my head. Ah. I should investigate. Hmm. Bunch of people shot in the head. Ow! 
Oh, I got shot in the head too. What gives? Someone shooting people in the head over here? They originally wanted two noodle arms in that game, but they had trouble making it work, so they just went with one. I hate to see the artist's integrity be hampered by technological constraints, you know? That game should have had two noodle arms. It's what Steven Spielberg would have wanted from that game. Dude, on that game's box, they advertise like, Steven Spielberg made puzzles in it. He made one puzzle, and he put his name on it in the game. You flip over a truck, and it hits a dinosaur. Except, it doesn't, really. Because the physics are weird, and half the time, the dinosaur isn't even there. So you just flip over a truck. And then, after you flip over the truck, there's a sign next to the truck that just says, Steven Spielberg. Like, hey guys, I did this. Uh, th thank you, Steven. What about the people who designed the rest of the game? They don't put their name all over it. You egotistical jerk. Man, this game just reminds me of middle school. Am I going the wrong way? Is this the way I came up? Yeah, probably. Oh, dude, Trespasser with the Oculus Rift. No, that's the way I came. That'd be great. You can use your own arm as a noodle arm. You put your arm out and you look in the VR thing and it just looks like a noodle arm. And it controls like a noodle arm. Man, if Trespasser were created and finished the way they wanted, it would have been revolutionary. Especially considering it was a licensed game. But it was a licensed game with heart, with ambition. Most of them aren't that. One of the issues I had with the original Halo is that later on in the game, don't most areas just start becoming kind of just repeated? I remember this very similar structure of like a big circular room and a big thing in the middle that you have to like walk into and it explodes or something. And then having to do that like half a dozen times. Good morning. Dramatic tension. This would be a lot harder if I didn't jump 10 feet high. Ah. I like that more blood spurts out when you hit them. Beep, boop, Use the plot. hollow panel to shut down the security system. Ah, I put my hand through it. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna stand here. It's quiet. Hey, it is Metal Gear Solid after all. Did I get a checkpoint? I wanna jump off the edge, but I'm afraid I didn't save. This frame rate is like 50. Not 60 for whatever reason. What? Oh yeah. Understood. We're on our way. Forgot the invisible men. Understood. We're on our way. I don't understand anything. I only have a gun that locks on. That didn't stick to anyone, did it? There we go.
That guy just exploded. Bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. Ah! Understood. Get the We're overshield. I don't I don't see an overshield over here. Am I missing it? Ouch. Understood. We're on our way. It's true, I do understand. Oh. Hello? What? Okay. Understood. We're on our way. <laughs> oh no. This thing's not going to lock on because they are invisible. no Pepsi, so I can't render. I can't render an opinion. Conflict of interest between my Pepsi sponsorship and your drink selections. Maybe I'll hit one of them. Yoink. Hey! I stuck him. Somehow. Don't shoot me! Oh no! I have 24 shots in the needle or nothing with the pistol. No grenades. Can I see him? What? Why? More ammo and a real gun. That's fine, I'll just. Fighting's for chumps. Better not come back. I'll shoot the door. Bravo 22 was bringing I mean us it. heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Thanks. Let's move down the beach. Keep Oops. an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. Oh. oh, hey, I didn't die. Oh, that's right, there's the rocket launcher here. Any hardware you can salvage, like this, maybe. Which we conveniently put here for you. Hey, hey, guess what? That is a very... Very slow rocket. Are we gonna do any mourning? Like, oh no, the dropship just crashed. Now there's a bunch of our dead guys strewn out all over the beach. No? No one just take their guns and leave? Well, alright. That's where I started. Oh, that's right, I have to go and open them to, or, uh, go to the open door now. Oh, that's right, I didn't kill these guys, and they've been here the whole time. I've been waiting for you to come back. They always come back. Knock, knock. Oops. Oh, don't shoot. Stop that. Thanks. Uh-oh. Whoops, that's, nope, not what was supposed to, okay.
There's no point to fighting him out of here. Okay, there's the guy with the gold sword. Loading done. No checkpoint. No, he used to be here. Well, I don't know what happened to him. Look at him walk. Look how bad that looks now. Master Chief, you're so cool. Uses space elevators and everything. Using my alien radio. Jerk. Oh, that's not subtle. What? Stop that! Blow my cover! Not the rocket jump I wanted. Whoops. Where did that last save me? Hmm. Gonna notice that now. I don't remember anything about this part of the level. What the hell is that? No. Oh. The cover for my tablet somehow fell off my printer. Which is where it was. Ouch. A lot of Halo interior environments are all kind of the same. Unnecessary. Oh. How did he survive a rocket? That was an excellent waste. Sorry. What am I doing here? I guess I want to go down. Excuse me. Alright, you, you can go. Checkpoint? No? Is it because I didn't kill anybody? I remember this area. Stop! Unacceptable. Just looks like Final Fantasy X. Hello. That lot of good that did. Uh, sorry. Uh, hmm. I'm not convinced this is actually doing anything. Oh. 
God damn it, I'm all the way here. If I had a real gun, that'd be no problem. I just had a crummy needler. Oh no! What is stealth? Oops. Oh wait, that's... That's not the level. That's a cliff. Whoops. Boop, boop, boop. Ow. That's fine, just go. There, now I have a checkpoint. Oh, there were guns here! Regular old shooty pow pow guns. Ow. Why are they called captures? Is that supposed to be like we captured the bots or something? Oh god, no, nah, too high up. Whoop. Alley oop. <laughs> oh no. There's something about the way that these guys animate that is not fluid and compared to everything else about this game. Completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and human apart. Really? I had no idea it had a meaning for that name. I didn't know it stood for anything. I thought it's just like, oh, we captured the bot. That'll teach it. It's like a bot fishing net. Uh, oh yeah, probably should go this way. I think. Is that a hole? No, oh, that's... Whatever. Man, aliens are really bad at designing interiors. Frohammer to ground teams. You've got two enemy dropships coming in fast. Frohammer, no. It's a pretty substantial demo. It'll be easier to hold them off from inside the structure. Can you get inside? Negative! They're closing in too fast! Negative! Chief, you gotta find the cartographer. We'll keep him busy as long as we can. I don't know who the cartographer is. Give him hell, Marine. We'll be in a tight spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. Let's find out. I wonder if the real Marines ever get tired of their always just being space marines. There's no space army. Space Air Force. I forgot I'm invisible. That did not work out. Oh, I have real grenades. Ugh. I don't know if, like, Marines feel like they're having a mockery made of them because it's, like, all these video games with space Marines instead of, like, space army men fight dudes. Ow. There. Adam I didn't even have to shoot anyone. Halo's control center. Cosmo Commandos. 
That That's structure pretty good. Be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Well, my friend's dead. Ow. Down into Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. His ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Or he's being turned into an alien. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact. And then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. Well, I'll have to get back up. Affirmative. out. How do you get back up there? Oh, God! Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact. How did that come And then from? tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined Ow. the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Are Master Chef jokes still funny? Were they ever? Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and oh, I that's have not determined the, shoot the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Roster. Affirmative. Bow out. I like these shadows. How did that hit me? I'm surrounded by a solid layer of concrete. Why do I reload after I find baddies? Well, I'm not in the real army. Oh, I have this thing still. Huh. Oh wait, I didn't kill all the guys on the way down, which means I'm gonna find them all again on the way up. Excuse me. Nope. Uh... Rocking guitar. I wonder what computer synthesized this one. Oh, jeez. That. Uh oh. They know where I am. Bad news. Oh. Uh, I wanted to finish the demo and go to bed, but I forgot how long the demo was. Do you think the shield dudes, because they all look the same, are like from birth determined that they have to be shield dudes? It's like a caste system. It's like, nope, you look like a weird lizard man. Here's your shield, have fun. Every time I start this map, I'm always the wrong way around. Uh. <laughs> I'm not cowering in fear, I'm just not very effective. Oh! That should have cleared the wall. I should have played this on easy and just gone up to people and pistoled them. Oh, god damn. <sighs> I'm 
not having fun anymore. Maybe I shouldn't join the Cosmic Commandos. Do I proclaim myself a Tim of weak stature? Yes. I mean, I eat tofu. Oh, hello. I don't want that. No shoot. This is pretty much trespasser, but in space. This is where they got the idea. Trespasser invented guns. Open. Are they dead yet? Trespasser is the thing that the Supreme Being used as a model for Earth physics. Oh, this sucks. Oh, okay, I got a checkpoint. It sucks a little bit less. Did I leave the car here? That was not how I should have. Someone's gotta be punched! Oh, crap. I should be able to sneak in and punch him in the face. Nope. Why am I bleeding out of my suit? It's made of metal. This is just over-engineered for no reason. It's not even aesthetically pleasing. Ouch. Oh, Trespasser was great. You don't even have to kill the dinosaurs. They just fall off the cliff their own. They're on their own. How did I die from wearing a metal suit? How many stupid shots of the head does he take? Like that that is very poorly engineered, let's be honest. Also, I think the aliens all just work in concrete. The only export off of Halo. Just massive amounts of space concrete. Like the bump mapping factory. Can I go back to my car yet? There are people all around me. Uh, 
You'll get there one day, buddy. Oh, not what I want. Oh man, I stuck him. Somehow. Go, Mr. Chief, go. Oh, why are there more? Oh good, I got a checkpoint going up the stairs from my last checkpoint. <laughs> Extra two feet, that's useful. Gotta gain ground somehow. shoot things. just clip through the floor. Alright. Just stick. Uh. Uh. That was probably not what I should shoot right now. Wait, the guys are dead? Oh, don't die to the grunts. That would be embarrassing. to that gold guy with the sword that they saw at the door. Does he ever come out? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's the floor. Oh, God. I deserve all of that. See, that's the thing. Halo rewards pacifists. Cortana to Echo 419. The Chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. Hello, where'd you come from? Roger, on my way. Who's shooting? Oh! A lot of things. Oh, I bet it didn't even. Oh no, there's Roger. a checkpoint. On my way. <laughs> Roger, on my way. How are you? Roger, on my way. Thank you. Just wanted to 
after. We. Roger, on my way. Roger, on my way. I want to get in the car. Roger, on my way. <laughs> Roger, on my way. Roger, on my way. Don't call me Roger. Roger, on my way. Oh, they're behind me. Roger, on my way. Roger, on my way. God. Roger, on my way. Roger, on my way. Whoa, well, the guy can run from behind me. Roger, on my way. Wait, wait. All those people I didn't kill, are they working are they working their way up the stairs? No? Okay, so there's just invisible dudes. Oh, they're right in front of me. These grenades suck. Damn it! Roger, on my way. It's like in The Sims Online last night. Yeah, really, Roger, just see a bunch of Covenant way. dudes holding plates of food, and that's the only way you can tell they're here. I like how he's not going to move past here. I should chase him, but... Eh. Oh. Poo. Ah. Roger, on my way. Ugh, God damn. Roger, on my way. No, nope. killing that one doesn't make a difference. Roger, on my way. Crouch to reload. Can I one shot them in the head? I I don't know. Possibly. No 
whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No whammies! Roger, on my way. You know, I hate everything. Roger, on my way. You can actually one shot them in the head. Missed. Jesus. Roger, on my way. How? How do I miss that? Roger, on my way. It's not even moving. Roger, on my way. Roger, on my way. Oh God. So I guess that means it's working. Oh. No. to make sure Mr. Gun for Hand doesn't get me. I'm assuming that's not very effective. Up. <laughs> no whammies. Oh wait, I just have to go there. Why am I in the car? Shoot us because we're not moving that fast. Uh, Cortana, these coordinates are underground. The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan. In my analysis, <laughs> these coordinates are underground. Just drive the plane into the dirt. Where did we end up here? You beat that Halo demo. Not bad, soldier. Not bad at all. But are you ready for the blah blah blah? I don't remember. Check out this pre-rendered video. That's so freaky. Of your 
They didn't make this cutscene in widescreen. That's an order, soldier. I played this demo a lot, except I still lose, so you wouldn't believe it. I need to put stuff away. The Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer is somewhere under this island. The Cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. fighting for me. I'm gonna go back in! Oh wait, I kinda can. Oh that's right, you could also kill the marines and then they'd all turn on you. Go clockwise around the island. Oops. Picked up 360 rounds. Why do they all have like Dragon Ball Z-esque power scanners. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Oops. Sorry. 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 I thought they would have turned on me by now. I mean, I killed like five of them. Now they do. Stop. I just keep walking. That's fine. All right, see ya. Am I doing the demo again? Probably not. I'm just farting around. Can I restart the demo? What are you doing with straw poles? Are you just like clicking links? Just putting in random things. Like what you can do with speed test links. Just put in random numbers and find random dudes internet connections. This seems like far too many soldiers. That helped. Has this sold Halo to me? Uh, no, actually, I never bought a copy. I borrowed a friend's and used the no CD patch, or I just pirated it. I was too young to buy Halo on my own, and I wasn't 18. I couldn't tell my parents I was gonna buy a game where I shot people. They wouldn't like that. To this day, I don't even know if they still think I don't play, like, anything other than Sonic and Pokemon. I want to go and get the Warthog which they don't actually drop if you're underneath. 
I'm gonna get the Warthog and put a bunch of dudes in it, and then run over all the other guys so they can be complicit in my crimes. Oh, what okay, I used to have to do was let's go find, find uh, the guys the who have the most health, concept. so like my passenger's not full up. So you know he is wearing us down. There we go. I need somebody who has full HP to join. Nope, you don't. Oh, I can't get in the Warthog because the gunner's in the Warthog. It's no longer my friendly Warthog. Hang on, don't, don't shoot the gun. Thanks. Anyone want to get in? No, that's okay, I'll wait. Can I hit the Marines with the grenades? I mean, it's kind of late already, but... Sorry. 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 Oh yeah, they're not mad at me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ouch. Oh, they don't like that. I hope you didn't have to see that bow hammer. It was not my proudest or uh, proudest moment. Affirmative. Echo 419 inbound. Somebody order a warthog. Rally over here. You know our motto. We deliver. Man, no one even died. Hey, try aiming that weapon. Try aiming your punch. Sorry. go okay let's move out let's go find the map room that will show us the location of halo's control center sorry I don't know how to drive oh they just jump off I was hoping they would just sort of hang with you Master Chief doesn't even react, it just goes. track where the land used to go. That's a weird sound. No, this is, this is the end. I hit the wall. just like I'm on the ground and there's are clouds above me and not the surface of the water uh, these grenades don't work that one did oh Explode the grenade underwater. There's no anything, there's no animation. It just fades, it just flashes to gray, and that's it. Not bad, soldier, not bad at all. But are you ready to take it to the next step with the full version of Halo? Blah blah blah. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, have fun. <laughs>